My name's Jared Black. I'm a proud Warramai man from like mid north coast of New South Wales, uh, but was raised and grew up here on uh, on water and country. I've always been connected to water, no matter where it is or what it is. So that was the first like real like the reaching out moment. I was like, oh, this will be amazing. So having that um, initial discussion about we will walk country together and what that meant and what was in place to make that happen. So creating agreements with traditional owner groups and all the traditional owner groups within the, the land that they work or are a part of, um, yeah, was really important because that, that really was the focus of how this artwork would come together. So Melbourne Water's new walking country together goal is all about supporting um, self-determination with um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in our, in our workplace and uh, in the broader community. So one of the key aspects of commissioning the work was to inspire in our workplace conversations about Aboriginal culture, to create awareness of the, what is the meaning behind the, behind the picture, behind the art, and in, by that way creating a broader appreciation for Aboriginal culture. And I think Jared Black has created an artwork that is incredibly um, powerful in that way. It is so detailed, it has so many layers, and um, there is so much meaning there that it will stimulate the right conversation so we really can create an amazing, culturally safe, culturally aware workplace. Throughout the whole artwork, um, I wanted to capture the spirit of the land, the spirit of the water and spirit of creation and, and how important and how much it means um, for us as First Nations people and traditional owners and that connection that we have and the love that we have for the water and the land. So I wanted to make sure that every section, every little dot, every little line that runs through the waterways and the river and, and how it flows into the sea and it's a full circle, like the water flows across the land, it's caught as it falls from the sky by the mountains and it flows down and then it goes back up and there's a constant cycle there and the importance of care within that, that system and within that cycle, it's, it's our job to make sure that we look after it and like we have for generations past. All the five traditional owner groups are sitting on the land and sitting in the sections where they're from. Um, and inside each of those sections is Melbourne Water sitting down with the traditional owners, having conversations, talking about these important things about culture and, and preserving the land and looking after the water. As each time Melbourne Water goes through one of these meetings, um, I've depicted them slowly um, being painted more by the traditional owners as a sign of respect of gaining more knowledge and embracing that knowledge and, and coming on board with our way of life and thinking. I wanted to capture the, the beautiful night sky above the mountains. Throughout the sky, we've got all of our ancestors and I've placed emu footprints running through for the great emu in the sky. And, and we've got the creator spirit of the Kulin Nation the, um, of Bunjil um, flying across and flying over the land. As we walk together, we'll learn together and we'll, we'll go forward into the future together. Um, so I was really trying to achieve that with the walking footprints that ultimately lead from either side of the artwork into the centre. Um, the centre being where the, the Yarra comes out and, and meets the bay. And we see all the different rivers and the waterways. I've actually developed that off physical maps of Melbourne. Um, the actual waterways that are a part of what Melbourne Water manages and I really wanted to depict how they flow across the land and how they travel through the land and out into the, into the bay and, and how they're all interconnected with one another, the same way that all the traditional owner groups are interconnected with one another as well. So the health of our animals and the health of our ocean and the health of our waterways is a real indication of how healthy our land is and how healthy our country is and how healthy our bond and connection is to culture. Um, and it's important to demonstrate that. And I try to within the ocean, showing the, the dolphins swimming through and all the spirit and all the connection all through there and the spirits of the ocean. My hope when people see it or see the artwork that I've created for Melbourne Water and that, that visual and the identity of it is to understand this achievement of walking country together, um, what it means to walk country together, not just for Melbourne Water's sake, but for everyone. 
um, what it might mean just for the everyday person, but maybe for other corporations and companies too, to take the same sort of action and, and go down that same road and, and do these um, type of agreements um, because they really do help and benefit traditional owner groups and ultimately they help all of us, the land, the, the people and, and the future generations.